How did he catch the bug of playing golf? Uh, I don't necessarily know. Golf's always been easy because I have the facilities at home. So I would say to a lot of people, you think providing these for your kids is, is good, but not really. You know, uh, when it's easy for kids, they just tend not to want to do it. So uh, I, in hindsight, the best way if you want to get your kid into the game of golf is bring them somewhere where you're not stressed. That's very important. Kids pick up on that. Let them do what they like when they're there, have a bit of fun. If they want to hit one shot, two shots, ten shots, play in the bunker, look in the water, whatever they want to do, let them do. And generally bring them home before they get tired. So the best thing you can do with a kid early on in golf is say, hey, we have to go home. And don't wait till they're tired and hate it. Wait till when they're actually enjoying themselves. Go home. And the last thing I would say, and this has nothing to do with being a competitive player, it's about the love of the game. When you're finished, take 10 minutes to spend with your son or daughter and go and have a Coke, a Pepsi this week. Go and have a Pepsi in the bar, wherever it is, and sit there, have an ice cream and spend 10, 15 minutes. Because if they have that 15 minutes alone time with you, just you and them, for the rest of their life, every time they play golf, they remember the 15 minutes they had with their father or mother. And that's what will keep bringing them back to golf for the next... And remember, these kids will play golf for 90 years. They'll be, my, my, there's a good chance my kids will be playing when they're 100. So, like, it's a long career. And if every time they play golf, it's bringing that happy memory of when they were a kid and they just got a bit of alone time, a bit of quiet time, a bit of big boy time you know, where they're sitting there in the clubhouse and, and enjoying it. So it, it's very important. Stress-free environment. Don't bring them to the nice country club. That's no use and makes them soft anyway. Bring them out there. Uh, you know, all the players on tour, I guarantee you, we, we had nothing else to do in our summers. We were thrown out, go to the golf course, and we spent played 45 holes a day, and it was something to do. Having too many options also won't make them want to play golf, you know. So, you know... It's nice when in the summertime that's the kids all go out, they cycle up to the golf course, whatever, and then they just spend the whole day there. That's another way kids will get to love the game. And remember, it's unlikely if your kid gets good at the game, that doesn't necessarily make them love the game. If your kid loves the game, it's likely that they'll become good at it. It's the love should be first. And, and it's even more important to get a love of the game because we all know you plateau when you play golf. There's many plateaus where it really gets frustrating. And if you don't love it, those plateaus are going to stop you playing. You're going to give up. Whereas if you love it, you'll go through anything. So try and get the love of the game for the kids first. Don't make... They'll figure out how to play great golf. Kids are brilliant. They'll, they'll figure it out. You don't need to be teaching your kids how to play golf. You need to be ensuring that they're in an environment that they just love the game. And then they'll start asking questions.